Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today something different. So very often you'll see a lot of my channel is reviewing products for thicker hair and trying to get the best hair possible in terms of growth, in terms of helping make the most of what hair you have and creating great styles that last with products which are suited for finer texture hair. Today it's slightly different and this is because of the recent experience I've been having and just going into 2020 and some concerns I've been having in the back of my mind um, which I'm going to go through all within this clip. So 2020, if you've been watching my uh, channel, has been a very tough year. For example, the health problems I'm, in, um, I'm encountering at the moment, um, the long-term issues which have all sort of come together and have really, really affected me as of lately, losing my Alaska Malamalt dog, um, I hate calling him dog, my puppy dog, um, in January uh, towards the end, which is still affecting me very, very severely now, and I find it very, very difficult without him. Um, lots and lots of things, lots of stress, lots of worry. Um, and gradually, what I have been noticing is that when I wash my hair, and it might not look like it now, but when I wash my hair, I'm seeing a lot more hair fall out. Um, now, there's a difference from when somebody tells you that there's not a problem to you thinking this isn't quite normal for me. Everybody knows and nobody can tell you what's normal for you. You just know. Um, now, very often I will ask sort of my mum or my dad or my brother and it will be no, not at all. Not at all. It's, I, I can't I can't notice any difference at all. I'm well known for having big hair with great style all the time. Now, it looks very not like me now because I haven't got any product in it at all. All I've literally done is I've just blow dried my hair through um, and there's part of that what I'm going to get to in just a moment or in a couple of minutes which I really want to go through with you why I'm doing this. Now back in 2015 I lost a patch of my hair here and thinning across the front so the front section of my hair was incredibly thin and I had a patch <sighs> A little bit bigger than a tennis ball, um, tennis ball, a little bit more than a golf ball here. And with the thinning around it, it went to like a tennis ball. So it was quite big and across the front here. It didn't go completely bald, but the amount, the area which I lost the hair was about a golf ball size amount in here. How did I deal with that? I dyed my hair. Strangely, yeah, you would think that putting chemicals and things on your hair would be would be worse. And you know what? They probably are. But at the time, I wanted something to try and mask my scalp. Uh, with my hair. I wouldn't have my hair cut, I'd have the sides cut, not the top, and I would spray my hair in a way which you couldn't see. Um, what I was doing, of course, my hair was getting darker and darker. I wasn't noticing it. When I look back at the pictures now, I can see that my hair was now on black, where I was doing it very often. And the reason being, here's what's going to shock a lot of people, is because I have very pale skin and you could see through my darkish hair that you could see the area was getting worse. So I stayed away from my lovely gelled slick back 1920s looks, which I really, really love. And through a time, I adopted this sort of style with loads of height in the front, a bit more like a pompadour, but off to the side. So it's swept off to the side. Um, and what I was doing, wait for it, was dyeing my hair literally every 10 days, 14 days, because of my scalp was taking on, I would leave it on for a long time and it would take on this dark colour and it wouldn't wash straight out. And very often it would be darker. So as I move the hair over, why thinking back, I never thought of like a dark spray or like a dark dry shampoo or something. I don't know, but I would not recommend what I done at all, um, because, of course, that could well have exacerbated the situation I had. And I can't quite remember how long it went on for, but it felt like an incredibly long time. And at the time, the uh, Cerioxyl range for my L'Oreal Professional really, really helped me getting things back thicker and fuller. And I think it was a mixture of me health-wise and the natural process of hair recovering and the the system of uh, Cerioxyl L'Oreal Professional which I've done a review on my channel if you would like to have a look at that which I absolutely completely recommend. I'm not re I'm not represented by them at all it's just I've had a really good experience with the denser hair solution um, which was really very good and at that time I was taking I started taking a supplement called Viviscal and I think a mixture of taking Viviscal supplements uh, for men and the Cerioxyl denser hair range um, really helped things. Whether or not it happened just naturally, there is no way of knowing, but I feel it certainly made my hair a lot more healthier. And whenever I have these problems, if my hair starts to feel a bit thin, or as my twin brother likes to call it, tinsely, like my hair at the moment feels very tinsely, quite fine and tinsel-like, um, then I will either go to the L'Oreal Professional 
denser uh, pipette range in a glass bottle um, or the Viviscal supplements. Now this is what this is about today. Viviscal. So Viviscal Men is a range which is highly regarded in hair vitamins for hair loss, hair thinning and all types of hair concerns. Now there's a women's range and there's a men's range. Of course I'm using the men's range um, and I, I used this before for around seven months and I noticed a real considerable difference in my scalp health, my hair and just the overall feel and the sort of the vigour in my hair. Um, and really, really enjoyed it after. And it, it, it's not a, a huge routine to get into. It's one tablet in the morning, one tablet in the evening. Doesn't make you feel nauseous, doesn't make you feel sick. And I say that because I've tried multivitamins before for my health. And very often where they've got so much in, they'll make you feel quite sick and quite nauseous. Um, and that's something I couldn't put up with, with the problems which I've got. I do apologise, there are dogs barking outside. This always happens when I film, so I do apologise. Um, but I'm just going to carry on. And what I'm trying to say is that the Viviscal is really easy to supplement your diet and it's important to have a healthy diet as well. Um, you may think, why enough with what the hair I've got now do I need to supplement my hair? Well, since 2020's come in, my hair, as I've washed my hair, loads in my hands, single hairs, this is, loads in the bath when I wash my hair quite a lot. And I've noticed that my sides seem to feel a little more, a bit finer. The area on the top of my head feels a bit finer. And I don't really have to do too much and my hair sort of feels like I've got quite a lot of hair sort of dispersing. Now I'm not suffering I don't think with hair loss. Sounds strange doesn't it because I've got no patches. It's kind of like just a generalised thinning area sort of happening. Um, and I'm going to go through in a moment of why I think that could possibly be. Um, and just straight off the top of the hip losing my, losing my puppy dog. Huge one in itself. Lots and lots of stress, lots and lots of stress, health problems. I've been taking medications for, um, for an overactive, a severe, severe overactive bladder and other medications as well for uh, my hearing and balance problem. Um, very often I've had a few problems with that in the past as well. Um, I don't know if it's linked, but it always seems to be when this happens. Um, and just generally, I think things have been sort of changing a little bit. Um, so I'm always using products to help my hair feel thicker and fuller and keep my hairline intact and my hair as thick as thick can be. Um, I have a twin brother who likes to take the mickey at times. We're very extremely, extremely close and we think the world of each other. Um, but only just actually this morning saying my hair was like tinsel and laughing and joking. Um, yeah, so it wears thin a little bit. And I have to admit, it does feel, and I say that, it's like quite fine and sort of wispy feeling. Um, this is my hair with no product at all. It's just literally been dried off very, very roughly. And we'll go into that in just a moment. But let's talk a little bit more about Viviscal first of all. So Viviscal is a supplement which I've done lots of research on. I've got the information in front of me if I can't directly remember it, because forgive me, it is a lot I want to try and cover. Um, I've tried multivitamins in the past, which supplement me for keeping on top of my hearing loss, trying to keep my hearing as healthy as possible. I've tried things like Gingo Biloba, which is another herb um, for hearing loss and things like that. Um, and they come and go. With, Vi with Viviscal, it's so highly reputable and the reputation, they have some fantastic reviews and some not so good reviews, but I think it's as with anything. It's worth a try. It's worth an investment. Um, is it going to work for everybody? I don't believe it will. Um, but will it work for some? Yes, absolutely. And I think when I tried, when I took it for seven months, several years ago, um, and that was seven months I took it for, Yes, it's an absolute commitment, but I did see results, I believe, whether or not that was from the conjunction of the products I was using or just my body sort of working through that phase. I do not know, um, but I feel it certainly contributed it, contributed to it rather. OK, so let's go into it a little bit. So I'm just shutting the top there. So Viviscal. Viviscal here, excuse how my hair looks at the moment. So Viviscal. So right on the front here, we've got Viviscal 25 years of hair growth research. Now, you may notice this is a three month supply. So it does say here, and I will just tell you on the back here, recommended daily intake. So take two tablets daily for a minimum of three to six months, one in the morning and one in the evening, taken with water after food. Therefore, uh, thereafter rather, take one to two tablets daily as required. Um, Viviscal tablets are easy to swallow. OK, so initially then for three to six months, you take two tablets a day, one in the morning, one at night. And then after that, you would take one or two tablets after just to keep the effects up and keep your hair at its optimum health. 
what does Viviscal include? So we've got on the back here, you might well be able to see that. I'm just going to go through this one briefly. So two tablets contain marine protein complex, amino mar C, which is 906 milligrams, I believe. And then we've got vitamin C, 60 milligrams. And then we've got zinc, 15 milligrams. And then we've got flaxseed, 100 milligrams. And then we've got horsetail extract, 49 milligrams. Now, if I have made a mistake on that, I'm sure it is milligrams. I do apologize. But if you are thinking about it, just try it yourself. But I'm just reading through the information what I've got here. Um, and then we have got lots of information about Viviscal here. And then just in going into it a little bit more here. So healthy hair growth starts from within. At Viviscal, we understand hair. Statistics show that one in two men will experience thinning hair at some stage in their lives. There are a number of factors that can impact on the health of our hair and hair growth. So factors will affect healthy hair growth. So hereditary. So if you've got that in your family, medication, overstyling, hair treatments, stress, poor nutrition, bleaching and over dyeing. Now, touching on nutrition, that will just be something which I will just touch on as well. Um, and my family can tell at times I have never had a very good diet and I have always been in a, a hor bit of a horrible situation where if I if I feel stressed, I feel quite full and I don't necessarily eat. I have a healthy diet and I'm very, very keen. I'm very, very avid on fruits, vegetables, and I'm not very big on sort of fast food takeaways, that type of thing. So I always have a healthy diet um, and I ensure that as well. I don't drink excessive amounts of alcohol. I don't smoke, um, but I have all these health problems. <laughs> it makes you feel like that. Actually, it honestly does. Um, and you know what? I don't even have to try and I lose weight so, so quickly. It is a bit of a concern sometimes, especially when somebody points it out. And I always think when somebody points something out to you that how thin you are or that you've lost weight, I think it's in, as rude as saying to somebody who is larger that you are fat. I think it's incredibly rude and horrible. And I wouldn't do it myself. Um, but I have lost some weight recently. And I think that's through stress. That's through losing my puppy dog Sabre back in January, worrying, um, getting quite upset, getting stressed out about things, worrying about my nan with Alzheimer's. I'm very dear and close to my heart and a big worry. And I get very upset about about that at times as well so lots going on um, and of course your hair is a reflection of you so if you're not in a good place and you're not in a healthy place then your hair's not going to be either and I'm really starting to tell that um, let's let's keep going on to the Viviscal so I just want to show you here so this is so I've started taking them and I started taking them yesterday and that's the uh, 11th of March so they come in these blister packs come in these blister packs and it's two a day um, so as you can probably see, I have got the three month supply here. Now it is an investment. I did say that it is an investment. So Viviscal men's supplements are usually, I believe, 42, uh, sorry, 52.99 for a month's course. Currently they are on offer in boots at 38.99. Directly a three month course from Viviscal you can buy for $89.99, so a big saving. Me, I didn't see that until this morning, and I actually bought these in Holland and Barrett for $119.99, which isn't a problem because I paid that before, so I didn't really think no more about it. Holland and Barrett, my local store, is where I bought them before, it's where I went back to buy them again. Um, then I looked on the website for more information to talk about my clip today, and I see that they're directly cheaper there. So I won't take these back because I've started the course already. I've taken three so I took one yesterday morning when I bought them one in the evening and one this morning um, it's really easy fits into your lifestyle easy have it with your breakfast if you're having coffee in the morning you can take it then um, and then in the evening just with your evening meal as well um, so it fits nice and easy around your lifestyle which is really really good a um, little bit peeved about I could have saved 25 pounds but there we go um, but still it's worth it it's a really highly regarded product let's go into a little bit more detail so in with the tablets you get this printout leaflet to tell you a little bit more about it and I just want so we know I'm not going to go into the other products which they have so they have uh, concealer and densifying fibers that would be for somebody of course who has a lot finer hair and needs that confidence boost and is looking for thicker fuller hair so Viviscal offer a range for styling your hair but what I just want to go into is the section here where it says, why Viviscal? So Viviscal supplements contain the groundbreaking proprietary marine protein complex. So um, uh, bear with me just for a moment. Yes, so marine protein complex. So 
a minima C. So, a professor from Scandinavia who was studying the uh, Inuits in the 1980s succeeded in isolating the key protein molecules of their fish and protein rich diet. It was from these origins that a minima C was created. So that's the main sort of top product in these supplements. Okay, so it was from these origins that a minima C was created. Since the professor's discovery, Viviscal has been tried and tested worldwide and is now available in dermatology clinics, top hair salons, trichology practices, health food stores and pharmacies. Our hair care range contains proprietary complex Anatel, which is known to help maintain healthy looking hair and hair growth. Viviscal Maximum Strength Supplements contain biotin and zinc, which contributes to the maintenance of normal hair. So, and then you've got the allergy advice, which contains fish and mollusks. Do not consume if you're allergic to fish, shellfish or seafood. Okay, so see and feel the difference. And then it's just promoting you to take pictures before and throughout your journey as well. Tell your hairdresser, tell your friend, note the condition of your hair. And it says here, join the Viviscal community online, which I've had a look. And the reviews from these products is quite incredible. There are one or two which haven't noticed it, but in my opinion, they've only reviewed that it like a month, three months. And what I would say, anything with hair, it's like when, uh, for example, you see online and people were talking about hair loss. Time you've noticed, and I'm a huge avid believer of this, that time you've noticed that your hair is in a certain way, you've noticed your hair is in a certain thinning state, think how long it's taken to get there. It will then take the same to try and revert that and get back better. So they say on average within three months, three months, and you will start to notice a difference. With Viviscar, it's three to six months and thereafter as well. I took it for seven and I would probably say around about the two, three mark months, I, no I was noticing a difference. Um, something else I just wanted to go on, and this is on my phone, and I do apologise. I'm just going to be referring to my phone here. Just me referring to my phone very quickly. Do bear with me. Now, something which when you go onto the Viviscar website, now I believe this is aimed at the woman's version, but what's quite incredible, the clinical trials and... Viviscal is the UK's most clinically researched brand. Viviscal has been known has been shown rather to work in clinical trials. So 39% have seen a reduction in hair shedding after three months. 111% increase in thick, healthy terminal, so that's fully matured hairs after three months. 12% increase in hair diameter thickness after six months and 125% increase in thick, healthy, terminal hairs fully matured after six months. And this is a three month study, uh, OK, among 60 women. So that's the woman's uh, that's the woman's alternative, of course. But it's the same family Viviscal. So, you know, you're getting those same ingredients, that same research, that same incredible ingredient in the men's as well. OK, so. Just scrolling down. So 7.4% increase in hair diameter after six months, 18.3 reduction in hair shedding after three months. OK, so this show this study shows that Viviscal supplements showed statistically significant benefits increasing hair diameter with hair thinning and hair loss. OK, and that was based on 72 individuals. OK. So how do I know Viviscal is working? So Viviscal supports healthy hair growth from within and works in four stages over a three to six month period. So four stages. So first, hair follicles are supported through consistent intake of marine protein complex, a minima C and nutrients in each tablet. Number two, thin and wispy hair is strengthened. Strengthened. So that's stage two. Stage three, breakage and thinning continue to decline, encouraging normal, healthy hair growth. Stage four, hair is noticeably stronger, healthier looking and more vibrant. OK, and Viviscal is proven to work in 10 published clinical studies. OK, and let's just go down a little bit more. I just want to I just want to I don't know if I can even make this a little bit bigger. Bear with me just for a moment. OK, bear with me just for a moment. So what I'm just trying to do is I just want to refer. OK, and if I can just show, you might not be able to. 
what I will try and do is I will take a picture of this and I will show and I will get this on here so when anybody or who's watching this can see. But what I'm trying to uh, refer to here is two tablets daily and we've got stage one. So three month mark, stage one. So scientifically proven results, hair follicles are supported through constant intake, consistent intake of protein nutrients in each tablet. So stronger nails even are often first sign of Viviscal working. Stage two, which is after the three months. Now here you've got 32% increase in number of hairs, 39% decrease in hair shedding and that's onwards from three months and that stage two is thin and wispy hair is strengthened look out for baby hairs appearing stage three breakage and thinning continue to decline and then encouraging normal healthy hair growth and that's sort of up to the six month mark then we go into stage four so significant increase in hair strength and this is after six months significant decrease in hair shedding and significant increase in hair volume and that's hair is noticeably stronger healthier looking and more vibrant OK, so there we go. So that's all about Viviscal. Let's now get into why I would need Viviscal. So I have a glasses on there just to see. Um, sometimes I have some problems with <laughs> small prints and I'm always doing lots and lots of studying. But I, I don't mind hearing aids, glasses. It does worry me sometimes. But there we go. That's me. Ball of worry. Let's look into it. So as you can probably see, my hair sits quite flat. It always has done, but lately it seems to sit quite flat. I even tried having it cut into when you've got finer texture hair, having it cut into might sound counterintuitive, but having hair cut into very often can, so if you imagine you've got long length hair, so long length hair, then you have it cut into those shorter hairs will support the other hairs to stand up. So I tried that, had some length cut off so it wouldn't sit so flat. This was a couple of, uh, quite a few weeks back. Can't think now, a couple of weeks back. Um, Let's get into it. So very often here, not my crown area. So I brush my crown area back. That's fine. It's this kind of area in here. So moving back a little bit. So the mid of my hair, these hairs here, this feels finer, much finer. Um, and when I wash my hair, this seems to be where the hair seems to come from. This sort of area in the middle here. So not my crown, this sort of hair. And this sort of hair looks like there's loads of it. But I, I, I kid you not, it's more air than hair, I can assure you. And it's always like no matter who tells you it looks good, it's fine, it's not a problem. It's how you feel, isn't it? And very often I feel great with my hair. Other times, like right now and back in 2015 when I had that patch there, no. So moving on, my sides here, not quite in the front, sides here, I'm noticing a little bit of a change. And then as I move forward, in here as well and just towards the side here too. Okay, now, so as a young man, very often you will see men similar age, young men similar age to me will have very little hair. I appreciate I've got quite a lot. It's quite fine, but when you notice a change, you wanna get onto it. So prevention is better than cure. That's the first thing I'd recommend. Now, if I move this out the way, you can see. Now I have got, and you probably might not be able to see on here, but I have got, an area I've got an area in here which and you can't see from here admittedly you can't see it looks like there's loads in here but I will tell you anyway I've got an area in here which is gradually opening up a little bit more um, am I losing it is it me being self-conscious it is definitely changing definitely changing ever so slightly in here um, if you would see sometimes when I wash my hair, there's a lot, and I mean a lot, um, and I don't just mean 30, I mean quite a lot more. So the whole bottom of the bath, because mm. um, sometimes I wash my hair in the bath with having hearing problems and vertigo and balance problems very often a shower that aggravates my head with my balance problem. Um, I'm just a little bit concerned sort of with my temples. I know this is very typical sort of for men, younger men as well to have problems here, but this is getting a little bit finer. I never used to kind of have an issue here. Recently, this has got a bit finer. And then on this side, this side's actually my worst, where it's quite fine and quite downy. And that sort of goes up into a bit of an area here. 
you can't see it looks like I've got tons of hair on here but I promise you I'm not making this up you know yourself don't you that's the thing you know yourself with hair now you may think how do I get this because I've had it cut into it seems to sit up quite a lot but my hair's always sort of had this natural sort of wave I've got no products in this at all um, this is just shampooed and conditioned. You may think I'm being absolutely silly. And you know what? Part of me thinks, yeah, it's me thinking a little bit too much, worrying a bit too much. But when you're seeing so much hair, it never used to happen to me. Um, I'm not sure why. I am under a lot of stress at the moment. I'm not particularly great in health at the moment. I, am, I have been taking all sorts of medications. Um, and I've had that similar in the fall. But the part which concerns me is just when, back in 2015, which actually was, and I can show you where I have the patch, is in here here I had this sort of big opening in here and then through the front of my hair was really thin in here so it has thickened up a lot since 2015 but you've just seen from there then so I mean this area I know there's thin I know of course male pattern thinning but go back to Christmas and this was much much thicker and it seems, just even when I'm touching it then, it just seems to be, and through the front of my hair as well. So, I mean, I've just had like four hairs then doing that, and I've not long washed um, and dried my hair off. That's not normal for me. Everybody knows they're normal. That's not normal for me. So that's why I am going to be trying Viviscal. And what we are going to be doing going forward is... I am going to be doing, so I started this on the 11th of March, I am going to be uh, doing a review, I would probably say let's do one in a month's time, so in a month's time we'll be reviewing it, then we're going to review it at three months, and then we're going to review it at six months, so quite a long journey and it is quite a commitment, but I can assure you it doesn't take long to incorporate it into your system and very often you are used to taking it. it doesn't make you feel full, doesn't make you feel a bit sick, doesn't make you feel nauseous, doesn't make you feel unwell. If you can do it, I know it's a commitment, try it. If you've got concerns like me, try it. Prevention is always better than cure. Absolutely. So that was my clip around I'm trying Viviscal. Okay, so here's to hopefully a healthy, thicker head of hair with Visa. <laughs> Put my teeth back on. Back in. Viviscal. Thanks very much for watching my clip. I've certainly very much enjoyed this today. I'm off to try and style my hair a little bit more tidier um, and we will see you in a month's time for my first Viviscal review. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.